Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Phillips here. It's good to see you again. I know last chapter we were, it was all on my desk and looking at stuff that was hard to draw on the board, but back in front of you now. So we're going to start a new chapter. We're skipping over chapter 12 for now because we did some of that uh, information in chapter 12 on measurement Mondays when we were having measurement Mondays and I'm gonna I'm skipping to chapter 13 and we're on lesson 13.1 today which is all about parameter okay now perimeter parameter perimeter <laughs> however you say it is actually just the outside of something now, it can be a border around a bulletin board. It could be a frame around a picture. It could be a perimeter fence around your property, all the way around the outside edge of your property. Okay, so when you hear perimeter, you need to think outside edge. Okay, now, the cool thing about perimeter is there's a formula that you can follow to get the answer for perimeter every time, okay? So when somebody asks you, or if on a state test it asks you to find the perimeter of a figure, and they give you the numbers, you can plug those in the formula and find the answer. So let me give you that formula. You might want to write this down, okay? All right, so we're talking about perimeter, and here's the formula. Now, no matter how many sides your figure has, you need to add up all the sides. So we've been doing a lot with quadrilaterals, triangles, so I'm just going to do um, a four-sided figure for this formula, okay? But if you have five sides, you would still do the same thing. And the formula is side plus side plus side plus side equals perimeter. Now, like I said, if you have more than four sides, or if you have less than four sides, it's still the same formula. Add up all the sides. And then you have your answer. And you got to remember to put your units with your answer, like inches, or feet, or centimeters, or meters. And it's just plain Plain units, okay? Later we get into area, and that's got a different kind of answer for that. So, let's get started. Let's find the perimeter of this square. This square has one side is 5 centimeters, this side is 5 centimeters. Now, what you got to remember is, they don't always give you the measurement of every single side. A lot of times you'll see it like this. And when you see it like this, you can't just add 5 plus 5 equals 10 and say that's your perimeter, okay? Because you have to add up all the sides. Now, what's cool, since a square is a parallelogram, that means opposite sides are the exact same measurement. So that means that this is 5 centimeters, so that this down here is 5 centimeters. And opposite sides here means that over here it's 5 centimeters. So you're going to add up 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 to get your perimeter. Okay? So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20, and what's my unit? Centimeters is the perimeter, the outside edge of this square. Couldn't be easier, could it? <laughs> okay, so let's do a couple more examples. All right, here we have a two meter by six meter rectangle, okay? Now remember, opposite sides are the same size, so that means that this down here is two meters, and this over on this side is six meters, okay? So, we're going to add up, let's see, let's do 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2. And I know some of you can do this in your head, and that's fine, but you should probably write down your 
equation somewhere on your worksheet when you do it. All right, so 6 plus 6 is 12, and 2 plus 2 is 4, so 12 plus 4 is 16, so my perimeter is 16 meters, okay? Make sure you always put that unit that's being used after your number, okay? All right, here we have another square, 3 centimeters by 3 centimeters. So that means this side is 3 centimeters, and this side is 3 centimeters, okay? And this is one I could probably do in my head by counting by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, perimeter equals 12 centimeters. Like I said, easy peasy. All right, one last um, example. All right, here's a rectangle with 7 meters by 4 meters. Remember, opposite sides are the same length. So that means this is 7 meters, and this over here is 4 meters. Okay? So we're going to add 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 to get our perimeter. Okay? And 7 and 7 is 14. 4 and 4 is 8. 14 plus 8 is 22 meters. Okay? All right, so perimeter has a formula. Side plus side plus side plus side. Just add up all the sides. It, it is the border, the outside edge of a figure. Okay? You guys have a great day. Have fun finding the perimeter and plugging in that formula, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.